Hello and welcome to another video of this course. In the last video, we discussed different kinds of technology uh, for developing interactive content development. Uh, we discussed about augmented reality, virtual reality, HTML5 and how this kind of technology can be integrated in the traditional mode uh, to improvise the quality and effectiveness of the classroom. Today, in this video, I am going to show you some of the open source tools which you can use uh, to develop your own e-content and which can help you to record your videos also uh, to develop some kind of interactive contents for your course. Now this is one tool, uh, uh, Virtual Dub. Now it is a very important and very useful tool uh, to record and process and watch videos you can record your video if suppose you are taking any kind of blended course or even if you are taking any online courses also you can record process and uh, watch the videos also the best part is that not only you can make the video and audio records but also you can edit different parameters of both audio and video files like you can increase or decrease the speed of the video then other elements which are very necessary which need to be careful when you are recording any kind of video or audio. Next very interesting thing is Blender. Now uh, in the last video I have discussed about the augmented reality virtual reality. Now uh, as we know that these kind of uh, technologies requires 3D simulation and for 3D simulation first of all you need to create uh, 3D models and Blender is a wonderful tool and the best part is an open source to create your 3D models. For 3D modeling like modeling, um, like modeling rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, uh, compositing, even for the motion tracking uh, you can use Blender. Even you can create the 2D animation also uh, using the Blender. It is available free and it's not very difficult to use this software also and there are so many tutorials are available to use uh, or to learn Blender. I, I personally rec uh, recommend this uh, uh, Blender tool uh, for all of you uh, if you're really interested uh, to create and develop augmented reality or virtual reality content for your courses. Next, I will discuss some of the open source simulation platform which you can use uh, to develop some kind of simulations. Uh, we, as we know that simulations are, uh, there are many research studies which are showing that uh, simulations are very effective when you are using in your courses because it helps to understand the concepts very easily. Also, it provides uh, 3D simulation. Uh, also, it uh, helps to increase scientific curiosity and scientific reasoning. So there are already existing si uh, simulation platforms which you can use to develop your own science content. Basically this, science, uh, this, this simulation platform uh, uh, you can uh, either use um, in your mathematics or in physics. So let us go one by one to each simulation platform. So first platform is AnyLogic. Now, in any logic you can see, it's a free simulation software especially designed for the education purpose. Now, there are many things which you can do like uh, personalized learning edition you can have, then you can have the simulation tool for the purpose of education, self-education, uh, then simulation software to teach and learn, explore of different kinds of, and it's, it's free. So, you, here you can you see the different multimedia method, then simulation GPS, you can have it also support uh, 2D and 3D animation, then di different multi-purpose like flexible modeling is there, manufacturing, healthcare, supply chain, logistics. So if you are teaching this kind of courses, so you can use this platform to develop your simulation. Next, next is very uh, interesting is PHET. It is uh, developed by University of Colorado and uh, it is widely used uh, 
uh, not only in US but across the globe uh, because there are so many uh, simulations are available especially in the uh, domain of physics and it is also free. So, you can find out that there are there are interactive simulation especially uh, if you are teaching some kind of uh, uh, science contents in school curriculum. So, you can find there are physics, chemistry, mathematics, earth science, biology, so different simulations almost you can find out that 658 simulations uh, are, are there. So, it is a rich source of simulations and it can be used uh, very easily. Even the resources are available, you can use these resources by giving the credit to the authors in your own uh, curriculum. So, I, I will also suggest you can uh, explore this uh, platform which is very useful. Next is WIGE. WIGE is uh, developed by Professor Marcia Lin uh, and it is uh, from University of Berkeley. It is web based inquiry science learning and it is also following NGSS which is the next generation science standard. So, it is a web based inquiry science environment. So, there are so many simulations and platforms are available especially especially you can find out uh, mainly for the different kinds of physics and chemistry and uh, the beauty of this platform that it is based on the inquiry based learning. So, theoretically you can find out a lot of simulations which are very theoretical in nature and good foundation of learning theory. <coughs> Next, I personally uh, recommend if you are from mathematics background, so you can use GeoGebra. Now, GeoGebra is developed by Mark Horenther and uh, it is basically combination of two concepts. Geo represents geometry and Gebra represents algebra. So, it is a combination of uh, geometry and algebra. So, basically what is happening here, so you can see the resources are available. So, already so many resources are here depending on your uh, necessity like arithmetic is there, geometry is there, trigonometry is there, calculus, probability. So, there are different like suppose this is a function. So, what is happening here you can just click, you can download also and it is also free. So, you can find two platforms, two interface here. So, one is the geometrical interpretation is here, one is the algebraic expression is here. So, once you are writing any kind of equation, it is showing the geometrical interpretation. So, I also personally recommend this platform. Nowadays, uh, GeoGebra is also integrating augmented reality. So, you can develop and integrate uh, or plugging the augmented reality also in the GeoGebra platform. And there are also uh, thousands of millions of uh, already <coughs> resources are available which you can use in teaching your courses. So, last as we as we mentioned uh, in as we discussed about the uh, augmented reality and virtual reality. So, what kind of tools which are open source uh, we can use to develop AR or VR interactive content development. So, there are few and very interesting tools and the best part is the free tools are available. One is the AR toolkit which is very much or widely used by the by the users to develop their own content about the AR. Basically, this is for the AR uh, augmented reality development. Then there is another tool called AR.GS. It is basically JavaScript based on the JavaScript. So, if you know the language JavaScript, so it is very easy for you to use the AR.GS. Then there are there is another very <coughs> widely used is that Droid AR. So, Droid AR one limitation is that it is not available for iOS, it is only available for the Android version. So, if you want to develop any kind of content for the Android version, so Droid AR is a good option. Then there is another uh, SDK is that uh, AR Core which is also uh, being used by many many developers to develop their AR VR content. Then we can use the open space 3D. So, open space 3D it can be used to develop either AR or VR. So, depends on the necessity or depends on your uh, requirement you can use any kind any any of these tools to develop AR and VR content. In the next video, video we are going to discuss the copyright issues and when we are using the open resources, so what kind of credits we need to give to the authors of those resources which uh, are available on the open uh, OER platform. So, see you in the next video.